So in the last section, we made an API request to the JSON placeholder endpoint with Axios. In this section, we'll do the same thing, but with fetch and the async and await keywords. So first, what is fetch? Fetch is vanilla JavaScript. It's not a third party library like Axios. And because it's vanilla JavaScript, it can be read directly by browsers, whereas Axios has to be compiled. One downside of fetch is that you have to manually transform data. And unlike Axios, which does it for you automatically. Fetch is also more verbose and in my opinion harder to work with, which is why I use Axios instead. So let's go back to our code and set up another request to the JSON placeholder endpoint, but instead this time with fetch. And we'll do the same exact thing, we'll just fetch post and then console.log them with fetch. So let's begin by creating another function, and let's call this function async function, and set it up as an arrow function. And next add the async keyword before the parentheses. In this keyword along with await is what allows us to make our API request smoother. So these two keywords work behind the scenes to make our HTTP requests more reliable and our code less error prone. And you don't have to do anything else, you just have to include these keywords. So just add async to any function if you want to make an API request before the parentheses and then the a a await keyword before your request. And and the request has to be a promise, so await is basically saying wait for this promise to resolve. Then inside the fetch parentheses add the entire JSON placeholder URL with the slash post. Then after the fetch statement, we need a dot then function, which will do rest and then rest.json. And this will essentially transform our response to a JSON format, which was one of the points we went over in the slides. After transforming the data, the response, we'll need another dot dot then statement to actually console.log the posts. And just to fix a typo, remember to add the arrow function. And let's also delete our first Axios instance request from the component did mount method. We don't want any confusion. We'll just have this async function call inside this lifecycle method. And this is it. This is all we need. We can now begin testing this request. If we look at the console, we see the posts are already there. But just to really make sure, let's reload the browser. And yes, we are getting our posts again. And since we don't have the Axios request, we are getting it from fetch. So this is essentially how you would make requests with the fetch and await and async keywords. I personally think working with Axios is easier. In this course, we will be using Axios instead of fetch. But if you do want to use fetch, just refer back to, the, to this video and you'll be able to easily convert the Axios examples to fetch.